our topic today is all about illustrations of quadratic equations. So, a quadratic equation in one variable is a mathematical sentence of degree 2 that can be written in the following form. So, we have ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where our a, b, and c are real numbers. This one, a, b, and c. That should be real numbers. However, our a must not be equal to 0. Why? So a must not be equal to 0 because ax squared is called quadratic term. If we put a as 0, so therefore, this term will no longer exist because 0 x squared means nothing. If this is nothing, then the equation will never be called quadratic equation because the absence of quadratic term means it is no longer of degree 2. That is why quadratic term is very important in quadratic equation. Did you understand? The next term that is linear term. Then C is called constant term. Example, if we have 2x squared plus 2 equals 0, this is the quadratic term and this is the constant term. There is no linear term. Still, this is an example of quadratic equation. Even though b of x is not around, still we can call it quadratic equation. Sir, what if c is not around? Example, if we have 2x squared plus 2x equals 0. Is this a quadratic equation? Yes, this is a quadratic equation. The absence of C cannot affect the equation. Unlike if our quadratic term is missing. Example, if we only have 2x plus 4 equals 0, this equation will never be called quadratic equation. Why? Because again, of the absence of quadratic term. This is just linear equation. This is quadratic equation, quadratic equation, linear equation. Linear equation is of degree 1. So, the difference between linear and quadratic, quadratic is of degree 2, and then linear equation is of degree 1. Since we already know what is a quadratic equation, then this time we're going to determine if the given equation is Q, that is quadratic, or not a quadratic equation. So number one, we have 3 times the quantity x plus 4, which is equal to 0. Is this a quadratic equation or not? We always remember that quadratic is of degree 2, and if it's not of degree 2, therefore, it is not a quadratic equation. So in number 1, what is the degree? The degree is only 1. So therefore, this is just a linear equation. This is not a quadratic equation. This is n. This is not a quadratic equation. Next, number 2 y plus 4y squared is equal to 0. As you can see, we have 2. Therefore, this is quadratic equation. This is how simple we identify if the equation is quadratic or not. Next, number 3. 3x plus 2 equals 0. So, the highest exponent is only 1, therefore, this is not a quadratic equation. Not a quadratic equation. This is just a linear equation. How about number 4? 1 third times the quantity of s plus 4 equals 0. 
Is this a quadratic equation or not? So we only have degree 1. So therefore, this is not a quadratic equation. The degree is only 1. Number 5, very clear. We have 2. So this is quadratic equation. Number 6, the product of b plus 4 and b plus 2 is equal to 0. Is this a quadratic equation or not? If you're going to evaluate the degree, you can say that it is a linear equation because of the degree 1. However, as you can see, this is a factor form, factored form. Factored form. So therefore, we are going to expand this one. Since if we are going to multiply b times b, we can have b squared. So therefore, the degree of this equation is 2. So this is quadratic. So do we need to solve this one? Do we need to expand this one? So no need because this time, we are just tasked to determine if it is quadratic or not. So you might wonder, sir, why is it that in number 2, the quadratic term is not written in here? So why? So this time, we will talk about standard. Standard form. Standard form. When we say standard form, the degree is descending. When we say descending, the degree is from highest to lowest. So therefore, in number two, this is a quadratic equation, but not in standard form. Why? Because the degree is increasing or ascending from 1 to 2. We can write this one as 4y squared plus y equals 0. So in this one can be written as y, uh, 4y squared plus y equals 0. So this is the standard form of this quadratic equation. Again, when we say standard form, the degree is descending from the highest degree to the lowest degree. Sir, another example. Number five. Is this in standard form? Yes, very good. And this is x squared minus 8 equals 0. Standard form without linear. That linear? Yes, we have a linear term. And I will give you another example. This one. Write the standard form of 2 plus 2x plus 5x plus uh, 5x squared. So how do we write the standard form of this equation? Is this equation quadratic or not? It's quadratic because this is quadratic term, linear term, constant. This is a quadratic equation but not in standard form. So in standard form again, descending. So we'll first write the quadratic term, 5x squared, then the linear term, plus 2x, then the constant, plus 2 equals 0. So this is the standard form. As you can see, from the highest degree to the lowest. But this is 2, 1, and then the constant. Question. If you have questions, just comment below and I will answer it in my next video.